Even though I'm a freelancer, I am blessed with the opportunity because honestly, I came a lot farther than I thought. It is a great opportunity. Home TV has changed my life. The reason I am where I am today is because of Home TV. Okay, we're live. Home TV is the award-winning government access station in Meridian Township designed to inform residents on government, education, and community happenings in the Meridian, Hazlitt, and Okemos areas. Home TV's reach, however, extends far beyond the township. With a rich history dating back to the 1970s and an established internship program that's over 40 years old, it's safe to say that Home TV has stood the test of time. But how and why was Home TV developed? Just how did it secure its funding? And what has allowed it to thrive after so many years? These are a few of the many questions we'll explore in this documentary. I'm your host, Stella Govitz, and this is Meridian Makers, The History of Home TV. Nineteen seventy four, Cable Television Commission formed in Meridian Township, Erling Jurgensen named chair. Nineteen seventy eight, first franchise agreement signed with National Cable Company, Cable TV becomes available to township residents. Nineteen eighty, first township meetings televised on Channel twenty two using township staff as volunteer crew. 1981, first part-time cable coordinator hired and first interns accepted. 1987, call letters home TV put into regular use. 1988, second franchise agreement signed with United Cable Company. 1993, Home TV moves into new facility as part of the Municipal Building Renovation Project. Erling Jorgensen retires after 20 years as the chair of the Cable Communications Commission. 2005, the third franchise agreement signed with Comcast Cable. This agreement calls for the cable company to supply studio and live meeting coverage. For the first time, Meridian Magazine was produced by interns and freelancers and televised live on home TV on Mondays. 1st things first, home TV is a PEG channel, or a public educational government access channel. PEG channels, best described by the Federal Communications Commission, occur when local franchising authorities require cable operators to set aside channels for public, educational, or governmental use. Whether or not PEG channels are utilized is up to local franchising authority. Clearly, the need for the public to know about community happenings was met when Home TV televised its first township meeting back in 1980. Some things never change. But some things do. Back then, the township staff volunteered their time to cover these meetings. But now, Home TV staff has taken the reins. I sat down with three current employees so they could tell me a little bit about their experiences. Let's take a look. My name is Denisha McDowell. I am the Multimedia Production and Operations Specialist from Marine Township. My name is Corlin Jenkins. I'm a production freelancer. My name is Samantha Deal, and I'm the Communications Manager for Meridian Township. And I've been with Home TV since September 2017 when I started off as a creative production intern. I started off here as a reporting intern in May of 2022. And three months after that, I was encouraged to apply for this current position. And I've been here for nine months today. I think I've actually been here for five years. 2017 is when I started my time here, and it's been great ever since. Home TV is necessary for the Meridian Township community because it provides transparency in government. We are showing what our local boards and commissions are taking action on and are implementing in our community. We do like planning commission, township board, zoning board appeals, environmental commission. That's how 
the community is informed on what's going on. Being open with the public about what's going on, what decisions are being made, is very important and it's not something every community has. So when I come in, it actually varies. So it could be anywhere from working on graphics, uh, photography for community events, even video footage. It just really depends on what's going on within the community that day, the day I come in, or even the week. My day-to-day -day tasks vary every week, depending on if we have any community events or big campaigns we're working on. But pretty traditionally, I will get into the office, check my email, work on website updates in the morning. So that means adding new calendar events, fixing any issues. Different departments will reach out to me and tell me information they want put on the webpage, so I'll add that. One of my other tasks is working with Denisha McDowell, the multimedia production and operations specialist to kind of help her craft the home TV internship program. Uh, I first supervise and mentor the home TV interns for all the reporting, promotions, and productions track. I collaborate and work with my communications department to inform the public of the township's goals, plans, activities, and events through various multimedia platforms including web, digital, and print. Multiple things, hints of the multimedia <laughs> in my title, but it's a lot of fun. The most meaningful part of my job is definitely working with the interns, and truthfully, it doesn't even feel like working. It's just so much fun, lots of laughter, but also seeing that growth with all my interns from the beginning of the semester towards the end of the semester, and just seeing them improve, feeling more confident, rather they're in front of the camera or behind the camera, just learning and knowing all about just the overall journalism aspect. Prior to my time with Home TV in 2017, I had no experience with communications at all. I have a degree in kinesiology and I had no educational or real world experience working in communication. So the reason I am where I am today is because of Home TV. The way they can build on and grow to the next internship or more importantly, their next job. So it's a lot of fun here connecting with them and also relating to them too because I have my background in journalism. I went to Michigan State as well too. So it's a lot of fun and just overall a great connection between them. And I would not be sitting in this position right now talking about home TV if it weren't for that internship opportunity back in 2017. I feel the, mean, the most meaningful part of my job is interacting with different types of people. So, for example, when I go to an event, you know, I always introduce myself and who I am. And then also, you know, whether it be a business owner, a trustee, a commissioner, it's like, you know, you you want to make a connection with people. Don't I don't just see it as a job. I think just being exposed to so many different people across so many so many different channels is one of my favorite parts about the job, and it's so rewarding. And it's even more rewarding when you're at these community events and you have residents come up to you and tell you, "Oh, I saw your post on Facebook. I saw your graphic. I love the work you're doing." And just seeing and hearing that they appreciate what you're doing is really what makes it worth it. When you are doing good work for people, it is meaningful because, you know, you're making, you, I feel like you're doing a service to the public. So it's not, you know, like I said, it's not just a job. It's like you're, you're you are doing a job, but at the same time, you're, I feel like you're making a connection with your community and the process at the same time. Home TV in three words. Wow. I would say. You're a community entertainer. Community, fun, fun, very hands-on, hands-on, hands-on experience, and educational. And I say that because community, number one, we're here to serve the community and to provide information about what's going on in the township. Fun because we get to cover all the cool events that happen in the township. And also fun because I get to work with such great interns, employees, and it's just a really fun environment to be a part of. You are about to enter into a field, especially a journalism field, where it can get serious and it can be a lot, but it can also be fun. And that's what we have here at the Home TV Internship Program. And then the educational aspect is we're educating the community on what's going on in the township, but we're also educating the interns who come through our Home TV Internship Program. You get to experience knowledge just recording track, promotion track, production track, going in front of the camera, behind the camera, learning and just building upon your skills and really just finding Workplace. and providing them with an opportunity to get real-world experience before they set off and look for jobs after college. 
Home TV has been in our community for nearly 40 years now, and just the fact that I get to represent that means a lot to me and is something that I don't take lightly. I would like to think that the legacy I leave behind is one of just transparency, of good connection and communication with my coworkers, with the residents, and just leaving behind a program that I can be proud of and others can be proud of. My time here at Home TV, I mean, even though I'm a freelancer, I am blessed with the opportunity because honestly, I came a lot farther than I thought. And I mean, to be honest with you, when I first interned here, I thought I was just gonna be here like a semester or two. I didn't have any idea I'd be here as long as I planned on it. But at the same time, I also grew though. My time at Home TV has been so valuable in my career, my personal life, my work life. It's just been an incredible experience these last almost six years. I've met some of the best people, the best interns. I love interacting with the community, teaching the next generation of interns. Like I said, you know, making the connections with people, like there's a lot of people I know here now than when I did when I first came here. The fact that we have a unique program that allows people to come through, people like me who had no experience yet still ended up leading the department just a few years later, that's a very unique experience and not every community has that. So I'm so thankful for Home TV, everything it's provided me and everything it provides the community. I am hoping that I continue on that legacy, this beautiful legacy that we have. It just grows me because it is a great opportunity. Home TV has changed my life and it helped me not to give up on the field of journalism because I'm so passionate about it. And I will continue on doing that for future and upcoming interns and for our residents of Brady Township because Home TV is needed and Home TV is the best place to be. Home TV serves more than just the public. It's been providing college students with hands-on learning and career experiences since 1981. With different internship track options, such as reporting, production, and promotions, the opportunities for growth are abundant. Established only scratches the surface of this decades-long program. According to Home TV, each year, interns continue to be a valuable asset to the Meridian Township community, volunteering around 14,000 hours serving as production crew and on-air talent for nearly 90 official township meetings and over 600 home TV programs, as well as producing more than 1,000 stories and PSAs. Since the first Home TV intern, approximately 1,000 have successfully completed the program and over 500 have moved on to work in the field of journalism, television production, film production, and the communications industry. But let's hear from someone who just recently completed this program, shall we? I am Mackenzie Decker and when I was an intern here, I was a reporting intern. I was so proud to be a home TV intern. I mean, especially because I was so new to the field of journalism. Um, I had just switched into journalism at the beginning of my junior year, and that semester I started at home TV. And so I was so proud to be here, be learning. It was a really cool, you know, step in my career. And Meridian is such a tight knit community. It was really awesome to be going to these events and interviewing these people who, you know, have lived here for a really long time time and have their mark on the community and so I think in that way I kind of felt like I was becoming a part of the community and I was kind of leaving my mark and you know getting to share the stories of you know the town and the people who are here so that was really special. So while I was here I had the opportunity to start my own segment called Catching Up with Kenzie and that was amazing. I mean I never thought especially so early on that I'd be able to have my own project you know something that I got to work on something that my name was included in. That was really, really awesome. I was a part of the process from beginning to end. You know, I got to pick the places that I wanted to go visit. I got to come up with the questions. I got to pick the music. I got to, you know, have kind of a say in what I wanted the project to look like, which was really awesome. You know, it kind of allowed me to take my vision, my personality, and put it into something that I could air and share with other people. And so that was really awesome. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Catching Up with Kenzie. Today we are here at Art Unlimited, a local art studio that lets your creativity shine. It was super cool to be so new into the industry and still feel like they believed in my abilities. Um, it was 
terrifying to walk in here for the first time and sit down and host an interview and you know the entire time I was like shaking I was like keep the paper still you know like it was so scary but it turned out being awesome you know it was kind of my first moment of you know what I can do this like I you know they believe in me I have like all the tools like this isn't gonna work out and so it was really awesome to just kind of have all of those first moments. I know I've said that before, but that was the most meaningful part of being here, was just kind of learning and growing and figuring out that this is something that I'd be able to do for the rest of my life. I would definitely say that internships are so important. It's a good place to make mistakes and then figure it out from there. A lot of journalism, you have to do it to learn it. And I feel like internships are really great at offering the support and advice without having too much risk. You know, like it allows you to grow a lot behind the scenes. Um, and then specifically with home TV, I would just encourage future interns to take advantage of every opportunity. Um, like I said here, you're exposed to every area, whether it's print, whether it's broadcast, whether it's production, and it kind of allows you to dip your toes into every area and figure out what suits you best. But beyond that, once you figure out where you wanna go, it also lets you continue growing those other skills. So I think that that's something really special that home TV offers is a little bit of knowledge in every area. So in a perfect world, dreaming big, I would love to anchor for Good Morning America someday. Um, national television is kind of my end goal. Um, home TV contributed to that because it really laid the foundation for all of my journalism skills. I mean, when I was here, it was the first time that I'd ever read off a teleprompter or operated a camera. And so, I mean, it kind of jump-started all of the things that are gonna go into my career. The real world experience, I guess I would say, it all started here. Home TV's over 40 years of dedicated employees, fair journalistic practices, and commitment to Meridian Township residents, as well as up-and-coming aspiring journalists, has created the long and reputable legacy you see today. Hopefully, this documentary has contributed to that upstanding legacy as well. Thank you all for watching this episode of Meridian Makers. I'm Stella Govitz, reporting for Home TV.